Larry and Kathy Mormon run a mixed family farm operation near St. Gregor, Saskatchewan, and also both have off-farm employment. You'd think that would be enough to keep them busy, but they also maintain a farmyard, which is a real joy to visit. They got married in 1973, and since then, the yard has gone through a fairly drastic makeover. Kathy had some definite ideas about how she wanted to set up the entrance to the yard. I always wanted trees beside my driveway to drive into a narrow driveway and have it shaded in. Larry always said, no, he didn't like that, but I planted him anyway. <laughs> and I just want it to look appealing when you come in. I always like lawn on the, on the ditches, and uh, I just really liked your first view of the yard to be something pretty and something, lots of flowers. Since they already had the evergreen tree near the house, Kathy decided this was an ideal spot for a kidney-shaped flower bed. There are plenty of lilies here, which happen to be her favorite flower, but there are also a number of well-placed snapdragons. The fountain among the flowers was a thoughtful birthday gift from her husband. Kathy has come up with a simple, effective method for making flower bed borders. And it's just cement with flat rocks put in, and uh, it's just so neat, you can just drive the riding lawnmower around. And other people have got this idea and this, they just love it. And it works, um, it works fantastic for the riding lawnmower. You know, you can zoom right around with it and it's just neat to keep the grass out and uh, works pretty darn good. Earlier you saw Kathy and Larry walking from the house through an inviting grove of maple trees. They grew from a larger maple tree damaged in a windstorm over 35 years ago and now provide a unique focal point for the yard. They're not a nice solid tree, they're kind of a, a twisty kind of a, um, a tree, but it makes the, I don't know, it makes it look kind of eerie or, or whatever. It gives it a little bit of character to this, to this area. A lot of people say that that's what they like about it is those windy maple trees. Kathy has discovered that getting any kind of consistent plant growth under these maple trees is an ongoing challenge. Lily of the valley, that grows like a weed, and um, uh, anemone and some ferns, the fern are starting to come. It's just starting to really start to grow a little bit better um, now, but we got to keep it watered. It's sandy soil, and we're forever watering it. You may have already noticed a number of strategically placed stepping stones under the maple trees. Larry and Kathy had them custom made as a tribute to and a reminder of their grandchildren. Starting from the oldest um, over here, Harley, Claire, Georgia, Michael, Kale, and Keegan, and Drew, and Julie, and now there's a little Jada, but I haven't got that st uh, stone painted yet. But every year I had a grandbaby, I added another stone, and I thought it brightens up my day when I see them when I come out. Kathy has always enjoyed looking and listening to water, so she has a pond with a waterfall positioned right next to the maple trees. I got so many magazines and I just thought right here in front of the deck was just a perfect spot. And um, just started to dig a hole and had a, a, a book to, that I kind of followed, but I kind of did my own thing and started piling up rocks and yeah, it turned out not too bad. I redid it a couple years ago because uh, I wanted more ledging to put flowers on. So I removed all these rocks and redid it. That was a lot of work. The fish were a gift and she overwinters them indoors so they can have them in the pond for many years. Not only do they add some fun and action to the pond, they also help Kathy keep the water clean. Well, I keep adding water. It's uh, with the wind when the, and the fountains, the wind will blow and it's surprising how much how much goes out with the wind and the sun just. So every third day I add more water. And as far as cleaning, um, the fish keep it clean, like I said, and, and the plants um, help, help do that too. And uh, I brush that, uh, the uh, little falls there, I brush that off every once in a while, but it's really not a whole heck of a lot of maintenance. One of the most eye-catching features of the Mormon yard is this wooden bench on stone legs, which was built for a very important family occasion. My son was getting married, so I thought this would make a really nice um, area just to take some pictures. So I whipped this bench together, and on his wedding day, we totally forgot about it, and we never did take any pictures. 
but uh, we still sit here the odd time not not very often but just it makes a nice if you've got family or friends over a nice place to sit and take a picture if nothing else the rocks used in the various beautification projects around the yard came from across the Mormon farm. Collecting them was Larry's department. A lot of places when, well, you used to call it ditching, now I guess it's called landscaping. Uh, some of the rocks, there's some places you'd hit them with a the scraper and they'd just split into flat ones and then instead of dumping them in the rock picker, you'd jump out and throw them in a cavity tractor, bring them back to the yard. The Mormons are very grateful for their yard and thoroughly enjoy spending as much time in it as possible. While many others like to plan frequent summer trips to get away from the farm, Kathy says their strategy is the exact opposite. We spend our time here. We have a, actually a little hunting trail that we go visit on the quad every night pretty much. And it's just a trail in, in the back quarter and uh, take the quad out there every night. It's peaceful, It's see the odd deer, the odd moose and the grandkids just love it when we go out there. So it's, it's just we enjoy our yard just like being at a lake almost. Even though they've done countless hours of yard beautification work over the years, they're still not done. Kathy says their next project is to eliminate some of the lawn near the house by putting in a scenic dry riverbed which will extend right into the nearby garden.